It's time for the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not for August 9th, 2024. Welcome to your Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not. I'm Scott Colbranson, and today we've got a wild stories that are going to make you feel like you just did a victory lap after a triple overtime game. Buckle up because it's time to dive in headfirst into the world of sports chaos. Let's start with Team USA barely squeaking past Serbia in the Olympic semifinals. Now, I don't know if Steve Kerr is pulling straws for his rotations, but when your team is down 17 points and you've got LeBron, Curry, and Embiid on the court, it might be time to check if the basketball gods are trolling you. Somehow, they managed to pull off a 95 to 91 win. And all I can say is this, thank hoops heavens, this game isn't 48 minutes like the NBA, because if it were, Jokic might have just taken the whole USA team to school and left us with a pop quiz on humility. Jokic was so good, he made his entire team believe they were the second coming of the 92 Dream Team. And honestly, after watching him nearly solo slay Team USA, we might need to have a serious talk about this guy being one of the all-time greats, top five. Next up from Paris, Noah Lyles, the sprinting sensation who's had a dream Olympic start until COVID decided to gate crash the party. After snagging gold in the 100 meters, Lyles caught the virus and still pushed through the race in the 200 meters. Now the man's battling asthma, a global pandemic, and still comes out with a bronze. Talk about tough, but now he's saying this might have been the end of his Olympics. COVID, you can keep your distance, but you can't steal the man's thunder. All right, let's head over to some NFL action from Thursday, or should I say preseason action, where the Patriots and the Panthers had a showdown. It was wet, it was wild, and it was a whole lot of punts until Joe Milton III decided to wake us all up. The rookie quarterback came in and turned a snooze fest into something worth watching, at least, showing off with a 38-yard touchdown pass like he was auditioning for a Hollywood blockbuster. Meanwhile, Panthers quarterback Jack Plummer had a rough night, sacked five times, and at one point, it looked like he was trying out for a role as a crash test dummy. But hey, it's preseason. Time to work out those kinks, right? Last but definitely not least, the Giants of New York. The New York football Giants took on the Lions. And while the game was as quiet as a church on Tuesday, Eric Gray decided to bring the noise. The Giants' second year running back put on a show with 98 yards and two touchdowns in the first half alone. The kid was juking, spinning, dodging defenders like they were trying to sell him car insurance. And can we talk about Tommy DeVito again? The man rolls in, throws for 92 yards, and sparks back-to-back drives like he's still channeling last season's magic. Meanwhile, the Lions QB Nate Sudfeld, let's just say he's got some work to do. But Hendon Hooker, he got his first taste of NFL action, and I'd say the man's ready to cook. That's going to do it for this edition of the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday.